Hey, it's Bart and Scott. Of the Scotch Test Dummies. Thank you, I messed up the title last time we were talking. Uh, today, it's a little off but screen, but we're gonna be reviewing, this is Bruno's favorite blended, so why don't you tell them a little bit about it, Bruno? Well, this is my holiday bottle every year at Christmas time. I get a, uh, I pick out something, I've, I've tried a few different ones, a good 21 year, uh, something like that. I've had the um, Glenlivet 21, uh, Balvany Portwood, this is uh, kind of your go-to Christmas star and holiday. The Blue Label's just kind of, um, well, one, it was the first high-dollar scotch I'd had. And uh, my initial uh, s sampling, tasting of it was just how smooth it was compared to some of the other scotches I was drinking at the time. And that was early on. And so it's kind of been my uh, favorite. Um, and I've even had some family members that have tasted it. Uh, one was a cousin. Um, and she didn't drink, doesn't drink whiskey, doesn't drink scotch, nothing like that. And I had her try it and she loved it. And they put it in a fancy case and they charge you what, a couple hundred? Two yeah, hundred? well, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, normal is 220, 230 for a bottle of Blue Label around here. This was a uh, actually a holiday uh, packaging. Um, it's behind us over here. It actually came with two uh, glasses um, and was on sale for 190, so I picked mm. it up. There you go, not bad. Now I'm over at Bruno's, it's shortly after Christmas. Now you you guys know we kind of like Star Wars anyway, but I want to know what is this? I don't even this, know that showed up. That's one of my kids. Yeah, this is like a there pen, but it looks. I think it is. It's almost like a, a foosball shaped Anakin when he's what? What is this phase of him? He's got kind of an angry. Well, he's face. a pad. He's a padawan. But he's got an angry face. He's got a mean angry face. I saw that, him sitting here. He looked like a ballerina. That showed up on my counter <laughs> yesterday, actually, and there was a cardboard packaging and some cellophane wrapper by it. I have no idea where it came from. Uh, yeah, it's very odd. It's just odd shaped. Yeah, I thought. I mean, so I can't even like tell you. Pirouette. I don't know, but I think it, it, it is a pen, a ballpoint yeah, pen. Yeah, it's a pen, a pen. But other but than it's it freaked that. me out when I saw it. It was freaky. Look at that. Look at his fingers are covering those. It's like he's a ballet dancer. So which maybe would have been better. Let's pour some of this. So uh, and actually, um, I said twenty one year. Um, I believe I think they used to actually say the blue label was a twenty one year. Hmm. When you buy a blended scotch with a uh, age stamp on it, hmm. um, all of the scotches that they use have to be at least that. So if they say this is a 17 year blended, all of the different scotches that they use have to be a minimum of 17 years. They might actually use a 18, mm -hmm. 19, 20, 21, but minimum has to be 17. I think Blue Label used to say that it was a 21 year. Mm. They have quit um, so age some, stamping. So, or something changed. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're using younger scotches, but it's still a very nice um, even delicate, consistent blend. Now we have, this is actually just what's left over from my Christmas bottle as well. Um, I'm so we have get some of this. All right. Um, I usually don't buy the blue, um, but I can kind of count on Bruno getting one a year, maybe. So look at that. He just likes it. There you go. All right. So we've seen the Padawan weird looking pin Star Wars. Did you dilute? I had a little bit of diluting. Wow, there's a lot of diluting. That wasn't bad. That's about right. A lot of nice oils in it. I can see them in there. This one actually... Nice um, honey color. A, a blend uh, takes pride in, in year to year being the same uh, taste. Nice and consistent. Um, this one, for some reason, the peat is standing out to me more than it has mm. in the past. I don't remember that much peat in it. And still, it's not that much. Uh, it's very uh, favorable to my mm -hmm. uh, well, you get like palate. A fruity smell. Mm -hmm. Definite citrus. Mm -hmm. It's a citrusy, fruity smell. Just barely a hint of the smoke in it. it smells kind of sweet. Mmm. Just smooth citrus at first and moves into the peat, I think. Yeah, the aftertaste has a real subtle peat, a, little, a real subtle smoke, not a heavy. And it hangs in there just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Real smooth though, no bite. No, it's uh, for that, that smooth peaty aftertaste, it's there. It's definitely not overpowering you. Um, you definitely get that uh, almost like a sweet, 
um, honeyness. It's got a real nice feel on the mouth too. It's supposed to be a little oaky. I kind of get like a little bit of a oak or nut. Uh, some of some of the tasting notes online do say that it's got toffee in it and chocolate. I don't I don't get the toffee and chocolate to it. On the tasting note? Yeah. Again, we always say this, but we're still we, we're, we're no master tasters. So, we're learning and growing. This is nice though, I gotta tell you, I do really enjoy when Bruno invites me over for some of his holiday blue. Because it does, it's, the flavors are all a nice, smooth subtleness to them. Uh, they're rich, they're refined, um, even that smoky aftertaste is, it's present but it's subtle. Nothing of the blue overpowers me, but it seems to give me a little bit of everything. That citrus, which I don't always go for the citrus that oaky kind of smell or flavor and then that nice just hint or touch of the smoke of the peat yeah love it yeah and you're a, you're a bigger fan of the peat mm. the, the strong I peat love the i peat. like just like this is perfect to me just a hint of the peat in there for you to taste it hangs in for a little bit and then it's gone all right bruno's holiday blue salute salonja salonja is that right i think so They'll let us know. If we'll find wrong. out. We're going to research that and see. That's right. I think we're saying it right. Solange. Solange. Dummies. Dummy. Dummies. dummies. From the Scotch test, dummies, not taste dummies. I'm a dummy. <laughs> All right. See ya.